Hey guys, tonight we're headed deep into the humid heart of Central Africa, Gabon, to be exact where something deeply odd happened in 1972. Not odd, like, hmm, my socks are mismatched, but odd, like, did someone just find a nuclear reactor? From two billion years ago. Yeah, that kind of odd. Picture this fluorescent light's buzz softly over a lab bench in France. A scientist in a crisp lab coat holds a Geiger counter over a fresh sample of uranium ore. And then, huh, he frowns. Again. Beep. Beep. Still low. The readings aren't adding up. This uranium isn't as radioactive as it should be. You probably won't survive a nuclear mystery like this if it were to unravel in your kitchen, but don't worry. We're just eavesdropping from the safety of your pillow. So before you get comfortable, take a moment to like the video and subscribe, but only if you genuinely enjoy what I do here. And while you're at it, comment with your location and what time you're listening. I'm always curious who's drifting off from which corner of the world. Now dim the lights, maybe turn on a fan for that soft background hum, and let's ease into tonight's journey together. The uranium had come from a mine in Gabon. Nothing exotic, just another pile of radioactive rocks pulled from the earth. France had imported it from a site called Oklo, a sleepy place that had been delivering ore like this for years. But this batch, it was different. See, naturally occurring uranium contains about 0.72% uranium-235, the isotope that's actually fissionable. 